Hey guys, Kamsa here. Terrain foring radar quick guide for the F-15E, let's go! We'll check out auto terrain foring or ATF first and take a brief look on manual terrain following later in the video. First of all, make sure you have the lantern nav pod mounted on your aircraft. This is needed for terrain following radar operations. In order to get the systems work, make sure you're on a level flight without steep bank or dive angles and low enough for the radar altimeter to pick up terrain. Keep your speed between 400 and 650 knots ground speed at all times. To get started, open the terrain following radar screen on your MPD. Select M and then TF. Select your desired height you want to follow on the top row. I will go with 300. You can change this at any time. For now, make sure you are in the norm mode down in the bottom line, indicated by the box around it. Here on the left console, turn on your radar altimeter power switch. Just next to it, also turn your terrain following radar power switch to on. Make sense to bind this one for quick access and disengagement. We now have uh, radar information on our MPD. Now to engage the automatic mode or ATF, switch the couple terrain follow radar switch to the up position. I also recommend to bind this if you want to quickly uncouple the autopilot from terrain following. When you are on ATF, the AP menu in the UFC shows TF. The plane will now automatically use pitch commands to follow the terrain. There you have it, you are flying hands free. But how to get out of this black magic again? To take over control briefly for corrections or something, hold the paddle switch on your stick to temporarily disarm the autopilot. Let it go to go back into ATF. You can switch from auto to manual mode by switching the couple switch in the down position. Disengage terrain following completely by switching your terrain following power switch to standby. As mentioned, the numbers on the top are your clearance to the ground and feet. The lines here are your TF steering commands and bank indicator. R shows your current radar altitude, G is your current ground speed. MEA stands for Minimum En Route Altitude in Feet, which is your safety altitude when anything goes wrong with terrain following. This is set for each waypoint during planning. This element on the right is your radar antenna position. The steep line on top is your obstacle warning line, which lets you anticipate to fly up during terrain following. This horizontal line is your current flight vector. You can see basically your current altitude in relation to the terrain. This uh, little bit jumping line here, because we are in active pause, is your synthetic video line, which is a generated representation of the terrain in front of you. This more steady line right next to it is your zero command line. It gives you an idea if you are above, below or on your set clearance level. So if the line is above your SVL, then you are above your clearance and uh, so on. These big green blocks are your raw radar footage, which are shown up to 10 miles, so this is basically terrain in front of you. And of course the scale down below in here is the range from 0 to 10 miles. Here with F1 you can change your radar frequency, which is uh, helpful to counter interference when you're flying with a wingman. This button on the left here lets you change the amount of G for vertical movements by the autopilot. So at current moment we are at soft, can change it to hard. We have a little bit more rapid uh, movements, but they are less smooth and with more G. All these buttons on the bottom row let you switch between the terrain following radar submodes, which all have different limits and benefits. And I will give you a very quick overview. For more details, you should read up on them. Norm is your standard mode and is used, used most of the time. ECCM provides automatic electronic countermeasures, but has uh, some limitations on vertical scan and EMA. WX1 or Weather 1 is for light rain. When you click it again, you go onto WX2, which is for more heavy rain and bad weather. You have limited clearance level options 
LPI is your stealth mode, which reduces radiation power for limited detection. VLC offers an extra clearance level of 100 feet. You should only use this on very flat terrain or above water, otherwise you likely gonna go crash. There is not much additional information on the HUD in the ATF mode. In the center you have your vertical steering bar, which shows your flight path to your next waypoint. On the right, next to your altitude, you have your radar altimeter scale with this big carrot, which shows your set clearance level. So at the moment we have 100. This curved indicator on the lower hut is your turn scale. The carrots here show your turn limits. If you exceed these limits of 45 degrees to the left and 60 to the right, the terrain following radar will disengage and go into fly-up mode due to limits of the navigation port. When we want to switch to manual terrain following, we decouple the TF couple switch and put it in the lower position. Now the pitch command box will appear on the HUD, which is this rectangle here. To not crash into stuff, you have to follow this box with your flight vector. So get the dot into the box. Remember, in MTF you have to avoid the terrain manually. The airplane only gives you steering cues on how to avoid it. The pitch command box is also shown on your TF MPD menu when in manual mode. Of course you don't have to have your MPD all the time open, you can switch it to something else when you have set up your terrain following radar. I already mentioned the fly-up procedure a few times. This is a safety feature which pitches your aircraft up until the MEA is achieved. It gets triggered when terrain follow limits are exceeded or warnings are displayed for two seconds without pilot input or when any other problem with the terrain following occurs. The easiest way to get out of the fly-up mode is to switch your terrain following radar switch to off and reposition yourself to re-engage the terrain following. Make sure you know that there is no terrain in front of you when taking over from fly-up. Okay, let's force the fly-up by exceeding the bank limits. We have our turn rate warning, we have a fly-up. I did disengage the whole system, relocate. Activate it, activate ATF, and we are following again. Or use the paddle switch to take control and realign with your terrain following limits, and then again let go of it. Now we are back on track. You can also deactivate the fly-up by turning it off completely here on the left side in the cockpit. Which is normally not advised, because the safety feature is there for a reason. And there you have it, flying an aircraft without hands on the stick. Now get out there and avoid some terrain. Have fun!